Hi guys, so today I'm going to go over how to set up a new, brand new eBay store for dropshipping. Um, I'll go over uh, how to set up my site preferences for sellers. And this is just ebay.com. So what I do is I'll go here to my eBay. There's a summary here. I'll click on account and it's just a new account I, I just made just to show you guys um, not really using this account and then on the left you go to site preferences so I'll say site preferences um, seller preferences is what you want to look at okay uh, I like to just click the show all button up here, just uh, so I can see everything. Okay, so nothing will be missed. Um, so I think the most important part um, is to use the stock, out of stock option. Um, you want to check yes on this box here. So essentially, you know, um, when you list something, you should list it as good to canceled listing. Um, just because it will auto renew. Um, and so to use the out of stock option, let's say you listed one with quantity of one and it sold. Um, if you do a good until canceled listing with the out of stock option, it'll go down to zero and still the, the listing will still remain there and that will keep your sale history and and you don't have to, you know, relist or recreate the listing. And um, if you do 30 days, good to 30 days, or if you do not check this box here, it will go ahead and sell and end your listing. All right. Um, and if for drop shipping purposes, if your item goes out of stock, you put a zero. Or the software will put it at zero. Payment from buyers. Use checkout. Yes. Offer PayPal on all my listings. Yes. That is that. Help payers with the fur. Yes. Include my items when payers pay all their sellers. Yes, yes, yes. You will not be doing pickup address. And submit. Alright. Preferences you can see. Let's go to my eBay preferences. Okay. Go all. So let's do this. Out of stock option, like I said. Uh, sales table. Just want to show you guys something. So they'll give you the 50 states and the you know, District of Columbia, BC, and whatnot. And this is to charge sales tax. And guys, you cannot charge sales tax unless you guys are registered in the state. And for my purposes, I can only collect in my state. Um, any questions, you have to ask your CPA or your accountant or whoever does your taxes or a tax professional. Um, not qualified to give you tax advice. But there is a way to get tax exempt. Um, I can show you how. Um, I could direct you towards a course that will show you how. I drop shipping titan. I'll drop a link below. Okay, so no for sales tax unless you're tax exempt. Um, so guys, offer the global shipping program. This is your preference. Um, when you start out, you probably don't want to do that just to uh, try it out. 
Um, so I basically, what you what eBay offers is a global shipping program. Um, so when you list an item now, you only market to the eBay.com, which is the U.S. market. So people in the United States. The global shipping program will advertise your listing if you enable it to everyone international, anyone from Canada, Ireland, Germany, like I had sales for those countries. Um, so essentially how it works is it'll ship it to the U.S. shipping center, which is Erlinger, Kentucky, and then the global shipping program from eBay will do the rest. They will collect the customs, they'll repackage it if they need to, and forward it to the appropriate countries. The package clears customs and is delivered by buyer. And the buyer will, and eBay will, you know, contact the buyer. The buyer will have to contact eBay and, you know, deal with the extra fees and whatnot. So what we have to do, our job is just to ship it to Kentucky, which is, you know, local to us or in the U.S. to us. So you have to enroll. Okay, go to my eBay again. My account. I don't like how they just keeps kicking me back there, but that's the way. All right, I guess I can review that again. Let's see. So, check the out of stock option. Payment is all set. Global shipping is all set. Auto flat shipping. We. Um, it's a expectation that we do free shipping because card phone number for shipping exclude shipping from the listing. Okay, let's take that. You guys, for domestic, most suppliers will say I would not ship to Alaska or Hawaii, and the U.S. protecting. And the APO, FPO, military, I believe, and PO boxes. U.S. protections are Guam, Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands, Monster Islands, and PO boxes. APO, FPO. Apply to all current listings. Yes, please. Override my shipping exclusions for global shipping programs eligible. Yes, override. So, you usually don't ship to Malta, but want to ship to Malta via ship global shipping program, check this box. Okay, let's apply. So, we just opened up our eBay store to, you know, the whole world essentially that has eBay. Click the out of stock. I should really save that before I do this, huh? Up to you guys. Send buyer an email with shipping information. It's not necessary. Let's hold off on that right now. Or to cut off time for the same business handling. Or same day business handling. I don't recommend that, guys. Just because when you're starting out, you want to do, you know, a reasonable amount of handling of time since we're drop shipping. We don't have control over that, and I can show you. Block buyers who have a primary shipping address in a location I don't ship to. Yes, you want to block them. Send eBay purchase reminders with default, which is good. Let eBay open. Yes, let's do that. So this is when the payer does not pay you immediately. Um, I want to do, I want unpaid item assistant and open and close cases on my behalf. You just want to automate anything you could, guys. Um, I don't know about you, but I like low maintenance. And so you can definitely do that. You are allowing buyers to combine payments within 30 days. If you'd like the case, you know, open to it, click here to lower your setting. 
Okay. Automatically release all the items and clothes with payment. No. I don't want to do that. Uh, eBay Good Works. No donation plan. And no, no. And save. Changes have been saved. Great. But this is not. So let's click apply here. So, hope I drilled into you guys enough for you to miss a few for your attention to that first Interesting. Hoping and drilling the the feature of out of stock for you guys. Definitely a great thing. Okay. Site preferences. Show all. And it's checked because I clicked apply. Alright, let's dive into it. Unpaid item assistance. Alright, return preference. Basic rule returns. No. I like to check this. Do you need the option to add an RMA to each label? So uh, eBay will automatically approve returns and the buyer can ship it to your address on file, which I don't want to do. And giving them an RMA number you know, it will stop them from doing it and Essentially, making us have power to get a new label or return label. So let's check that. And we're done here. Okay, that's right. Well, there's no way to save this. I just want to Go back to my eBay and let's validate that we actually are able to save that. Let's see how about that. Take preference. Go down to returns. Show. Edit. That check. It did. Perfect. So that checked it. Perfect. That number is for something with us, my scope, um, on the US, so we don't charge that. Show the guide. Advertising. Third party if you're using software. Buyer alerts. Drilling preference. Doesn't really do much for me right now. Auto sign in. And that's it, guys, um, for site preferences. Um, like I said, I'm going to do more videos on uh, more things that of how I set up my store. Um, at the moment, I don't have a store subscription. I'm zero right now. Uh, if you like this kind of content, um, you know, click the like button, subscribe to my channel, or leave a comment if you have any questions. Or if you have any, you know, other questions that I can help you with setting up a new account. Uh, Alright guys, have a good day.